now we're gonna start riding into the Pyrenees and we've got this beautiful San Sebastian weather. Woo! Beautiful San Sebastian. Having the time of your life? Great. Descending into France into a filthy, filthy descent. Super, super wet descent. First little town in France. Cold out uh, ski in the background there looks pretty daunting. The weather looks gnarly too. I think this is what we wanted. Steep. Narrow climbs. For real, it feels like we're in the Pyrenees now. This is uh, hurting. The Ahuski conquered, took us everything we had. Thank you for clearing the road. Clearly a Tour de France staff. Good guy. We're up here on top of the coldest of day and we're about to bomb down the other side into a wreck. This is the exact route the Tour de France is going to take on.
abandoned buildings out here. the deepest I've seen him go. That was hard. Rest day tomorrow. Look how many campers are already up here. This is definitely the busiest mountain climb we've seen so far. It's been coming up all day. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting one to watch. So the Marie Blanc heading down towards La Rune. This is the final descent of stage 5 Tour de France 2023. the cold day of this. traffic <laughs> make our way to Lodz probably half of these people are going there it's the biggest town in the area so um, yeah a little bit of Korea style you guys ready <laughs> to lane split <laughs>
uh, part of the tour that we came to see. The Tourmalet, I think it's the most used climb in the tour, right? I think over 80 times since 1920. A lot of history and it's just a cool experience to actually be here and then to be here while the tour is on is like the biggest and best thing I've ever done in cycling for sure. A little disappointing, the uh, cop up here won't let us ride the last K, even though the caravan's 25 minutes away. A lot of upset cyclists couldn't finish the Tourmalet, you know. Exactly what we hoped for us while we were on the Tourmalet. Not bad for a first tour. How, how was that? That was absolutely insane. The boys are still banging the drums. The mist has come up just after the riders come through. Pretty crazy uh, timing on the weather there. Doesn't get any more epic than this. I think everyone's uh, just full of joy and happiness, really. Yeah, we're gonna eventually get down this descent very slowly.
just bombed the Perry Sword. That was a lot of fun. But now we're back to climbing. We've got the Porte Ballet, Porte Bale, Porte Bales, Porte Ballets. One of those. One of yeah. those, maybe. Yeah. One of the fastest climbers outside of the tour that I've seen on this trip. What does an elite athlete eat? Another call conquered on this trip. Climb of the day, it's only a baby 1k. It's been a killer day. Been waiting for a toilet for about four hours, so it's uh, full gas to the accommodation. Good morning. Just a little message to say that we are now halfway through our riding on the tour to the tour. It's become the tour away from the tour. As we head into the central Pyrenees, we've been going crazy the last two weeks with uh, editing till 2 a.m. and waking up early and doing it on repeat. So the next couple of days, we're gonna sign off from vlog life and just enjoy the beauty of the mountains. And I will uh, take you along the journey. Hopefully you guys can enjoy the serenity and the glory of the Pyrenees with us. We'll sign back on in a couple days as we head into Barcelona. Enjoy guys, we will. you at the top. Give it a little push. This is the uh, dump truck of the tour, the uh, Scott Solis Gravel 10. This is what's been bringing you all the films for the trip so far. Um, gonna be bombing down this descent.
beautiful climb we just did. Col de la Cor. Looks really flowy, a couple of tight hairpins here and there, but um, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's been the perfect day of riding. This is our final descent. Let's go flow, Taylor. top of the Col de Port, somewhere in the middle of the Pyrenees. Pretty shallow grade, five, six percent. Going into a headwind, so it's gonna be a bit of pedaling for this one. Got a soft of falling with the chest cam.
neighborhood descending. <laughs> We're somewhere in France. There's a town called Axe La Thermes down there. That's 10K, 7%, super twisty. It's rock and roll, Taylor. 1400 meters above sea level. With those cars and these super tucked around them. <laughs> yeah. The vlog life is back. We're just rolling out of Axla Therms. This is day what, Taylor? Day eight. Day eight out of ten. I dunked myself in that river last night and it was glorious. We're just gonna pick up our special guest for the next couple days. Juanito. How's it going? Morning. We're here We're with Juan Tirado. <laughs> I have a friend from Colombia living in Barcelona. I met many, many years ago. Cool to have an extra friend with us. So we're on kilometer zero. I'd say 35 kilometer climb with 1600 meters of climbing straight out the door. Yeah, today's uh, the longest climb of the trip, getting to the high point in Andorra. to the start of Andorra. Hour and 40 minutes climbing. We're gonna pop some water here and keep going right up to the top. Welcome to the top of the Col de Ordino. Very twisty looking one, lots of switchbacks. 
It looks really smooth. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Time to go. All right. Yeah, it was good. It was Legion of Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah but it's unbelievable. Yeah. This week you got wind down. <laughs> you put your back yeah. up. Oh, nice to meet you. See you. Not a bad road to start. So we just climbed 16 Ks. One of the nicest climbs we've done on the whole trip. It was really unexpected. We're gonna film a little training ride down here just because uh, the road's so good. Second major climb of the day. This one's AK, 5%. We are at the top of the Col de Port. We're gonna be descending for a little over 20K. Road's pretty narrow. Looks like no center line, so we're gonna keep this one pretty safe. Hopefully some, some smooth tarmac. It hasn't been too bad on the way up.
done for the day. We're out of water. There's nothing out here. It's very desolate. So you just hammer up the last 5k climb. You can do anything for 5k's. So I've said. Uh, yeah, a bit of a smash fest today. Average speed about 26k an hour. Which isn't bad for uh, being loaded up. Final 10k's in the burga. Yeah, let's get going before I die of dehydration. Let's rock and roll. old town. They don't build the new ones with streets this narrow. We have arrived. We're done. Final day, day 10. Hit the jackpot in Spain again, two days in a row in Catalonia. Such a killer road. Quiet, great views, perfect surface, lots of bends. Gentle gradient, winner. What a final day this is turning out to be. All downhill and the uphills kind of feel like a downhill. This is a very nice gentle cruising to cap off the trip. We're gonna put on a helmet cam and get the whole team cruising down the backside of this descent. I'm uh, kind of getting sad, it's coming to an end. It's been so good every day.
sure where it's supposed to be going down this road, but this is the route, so we stick to the carrots. We're just out of Manresa, or well, we're getting out of there, <laughs> trying to, one of the big cities before Barcelona, getting ever closer. Wish us luck. We're in the uh, interesting part of town. Chop, chop, chop on the last climb. Average 290 so far. Getting it done. As time goes by. Ouch. Barcelona and uh, yeah we'll finish out the ocean but yeah thanks for following along everyone that was a hell of an experience